Well, guys, let's um, let's talk. It's been um, it's been one year since Kingdom Hearts three came out. One year. And Remind just came out like what six days ago? Yeah, six days ago. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. Um. Flannor has to be somewhere in town. Well, I just wanted to say you no know, thank you, uh, Nomura, and um. Everyone on Square Enix, Disney, Square Enix, Tetsuya Nomura, everyone for making this amazing freaking game. This amazing game series. Kingdom Hearts 3 is one from before, Re even before Remind came out, went from my second favorite Kingdom Hearts game to my number one favorite Kingdom Hearts game. Now I know. I, um, I know I got into, like, the story in the game series, like, really, in 2017, but I felt like I've waited for this game for, like, ever since 2013. <laughs> like, when I was waiting for it, it felt for so freaking, it felt so long. The wait felt so long. But anyways, um, the day it came out, I went to get, or no, I went to GameStop the day before it came out because they were doing an early release, and I got it early, and I played it up until, um, up until you get to the, um, the main Olympus part, where you, like, you're, um, what are you doing? When you first, uh, like, uh, like the, um, the save area when you uh, beat the uh, uh, Rock Titan. The first save area you get to after you defeat the Rock Titan. And then at the day after, I beat um, I beat the game within four days, but I just continuously streamed it. I fought Dark Inferno, I done all the battle gates, I got Ultima Weapon. And then when Critical Mode came out, I played Critical. Um, I, played level, I played Proud, I played Level 1 Critical. And before Remind came out, when Oblivion Oathkeeper came out, um, I went over from my critical mode save and um, carried over to my proud mode save. This is my standard save because I wanted to make this video with my um, my uh, save I had my first ever playthrough save of the game, and we ended this playthrough or the playthrough. We go to the save, 58 hours and 22 minutes, and as you can see, and I didn't even save some other times I played played the game longer than that. Last year, um, like, it was counting me with playtime. My, uh, with the PlayStation blog, blog it, my, uh, top nine, number one, uh, in my top three games of, uh, 2019, Kingdom Hearts 3 was on my number one. And if you're wondering what the other two were, number two is Black Ops 4, and number three was Devil May Cry 5. Um, but as you can tell, I played this game a lot. Off camera, I've been fighting, like continuously fighting the um, uh, Organization 13 data member member battles. I've been fighting Sora, and um, I I really love this game. I really enjoy it, and you should really like if you if you're interested, wherever you're playing on PlayStation, where you're playing Xbox. You're trying to go the cheap way and waiting for the game to get pirated on P uh, uh, PC. <laughs> Which I don't think that's going to happen for a while, so... Yeah. Um, a PC port of the game. Um, unofficial. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. I recommend you uh, play this series. This series is amazing. The characters, the story, the music, the gameplay, everything. I love it. It's amazing. And... Literally, thank you everyone. It's great, and thank you all for watching me and play and all this stuff. Watching me through my through the whole series, and I'm not done uploading Remind, but uh, yeah. Um, thank you. Um, it's amazing. The new Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, 
should or should be announced their name will be revealed or whatever i think it's for the mobile game and he could potentially also announce the new kingdom hearts game before kingdom hearts 4 unless the mobile game is it which i don't know if it is but yeah it's gonna be it should be announced by the time i'm recording this video i think um but yeah it's been amazing and i wanted to thank you all yeah well um, and yeah, happy anniversary, happy one year anniversary, Kingdom Hearts 3. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.